Expand your vocabulary with our core 2,000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free German ebook before it's gone. Most people who learn a foreign language learn it so that they can one day have real life conversations with native speakers. When you start out learning and crack open your first textbook or listen to your first podcast, having a real conversation can feel like a fantasy. When everything about a language feels new, it can be overwhelming. But this couldn't be further from the truth. While it does take a significant amount of time and effort to become fluent, having a conversation might not be as far off as you think. In this video, we'll look at three ways you can boost your conversational skills and start talking to native speakers. Number one, find native speakers and practice with them. It's unlikely you live near a big group of native speakers to practice with. If you happen to be in a major or international city, your chances may be better. Check and see if your city has a general language exchange. Chances are there could be a native speaker there who is also trying to learn another language. Practicing in person with a native speaker is probably the most interesting option for honing your speaking skills. But if you can't find anyone where you live, the next best option is to look online. Luckily for language learners, the past 10 years or so have seen an explosion in online language exchange sites. On these websites, you can search for someone who is a native speaker of your target language and is also learning your native language. The idea behind a language exchange is that you communicate with them via video or text chat, and half of the time, they help you practice your target language, and for the other half, you help them practice theirs. Practicing via an online language exchange is a highly effective way to practice your conversational skills. Number two, work on pronunciation. Pronunciation is often an overlooked skill when it comes to learning a foreign language. Most people think of a good foreign accent as a luxury rather than a necessity. But what most people don't talk about is how having a good accent boosts your listening and comprehension skills. If you can hear a sound from a foreign language and know how to make it yourself, then you're more likely to understand native speakers when they talk at normal speed, and you're also more likely to remember any new words or phrases you come across. Having a good accent means that the language no longer sounds foreign. Instead, it sounds familiar, maybe even natural. So how do you go about perfecting your accent? The best way is to break down the language into its individual sounds. Make note of any sounds that are the same or similar to your native language and of those that are different. Of the sounds that are different, spend your time practicing the ones that you find the hardest to say correctly. After you're comfortable with the individual sounds, you can start linking together words and phrases. This is where accent practice starts to get really fun and interesting. Get your hands on some native speaker audio from a TV show, song, or podcast. Play the audio back and listen closely a few times. Take note of how words blend together in speech. Then, do your best to imitate what you hear, trying to match the speaker's emphasis and intonation. Our language learning program's playback feature is perfect for this. Record yourself and compare it to the original recording. Rinse and repeat until you're comfortable with the audio selection, and then move on to something more difficult. This is how you can break through the accent barrier and really start to make the language your own. Number three, learn phrases, not just individual words. Learning grammar and individual words is great, but it's not the only approach you should take if you want to speak fluently. In addition to your regular grammar and vocabulary, try learning whole phrases, even if you aren't totally sure how they work grammatically. Learn phrases that are specific to your needs. It's a good idea to learn phrases that are grouped around a certain setting or subject, such as simple greetings or introductions, questions for getting to know someone, or traveling comfortably. You can even learn filler phrases, which you can use so that you have something to say when, well, you don't know what to say. Learning phrases like this will help you become conversational faster. You may not understand what you're saying literally, but as long as you know the general meaning behind the phrase and know when to use it, you'll be able to talk like a native. Eventually, your knowledge of grammar and vocabulary should catch up with the phrases you know. Learning a new language should feel like an adventure. There will be plateaus and periods in your learning where it feels like you're hitting a wall, but being able to speak with native speakers and have real conversations will help you combat language fatigue. After all, talking to someone face-to-face -face in a foreign language is one of the main reasons we start learning in the first place. 
And for even more ways to gain conversation skills, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Entschuldigung? Ja? Wir suchen die Goethe-Schule. Kennen Sie die? Lernt ihr Deutsch? Ich nicht. Ich bin Deutscher. Aber meine Bekannte Kate lernt Deutsch. Wo liegt die Goethe-Schule? Ja, das ist das Gebäude da. Da links? Nein, rechts. Now you'll hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. Links. Left. On the left. Links. Links. Nicht. Not. Nicht. Nicht. Rechts. Right. On the right. Rechts. Rechts. Kennen. To know something or someone. Kennen. Kennen. Aber. But. Aber. Aber. Da. There. Da. Da. Sie. You. Formal. Sie. Sie. Gebäude. Building. Gebäude. Gebäude. Wir. We. Wir. Wir. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. Entschuldigung? Ja? Wir suchen die Goethe-Schule. Kennen Sie die? Lernt ihr Deutsch? Ich nicht. Ich bin Deutscher. Aber meine Bekannte Kate lernt Deutsch. Wo liegt die Goethe-Schule? Ja, das ist das Gebäude da. Da links? Nein, rechts. This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Entschuldigung? Ja? Wie heißen Sie? Ich heiße Kate Andrews. Ich heiße Jens Schneider. Ich freue mich, Sie kennenzulernen. Ja, freut mich auch. Now you'll hear the key vocabulary followed by the English translation. Entschuldigung. 
Apology. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Entschuldigung. Entschuldigung. Kennenlernen. To get to know someone, to get acquainted. Kennenlernen. Kennenlernen. Ja. Yes. Ja. Ja. Ich. I. Ich. Ich. Heißen. To be called. Heißen. Heißen. Auch. Also, too. Auch. Auch. Sie. You, formal. Sie. Sie. Sich freuen. To be happy. Sich freuen. Sich freuen. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. Entschuldigung? Ja? Wie heißen Sie? Ich heiße Kate Andrews. Ich heiße Jens Schneider. Ich freue mich, Sie kennenzulernen. Ja, freut mich auch. This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Today we're going to talk about four techniques to help you stop translating in your head and instead start thinking in your target language. This will allow you to have conversations with ease, read smoothly, and better understand native speakers. These are four methods to help you think in a new language. Number one, surround yourself with your target language. This way, you'll be completely immersed in the language. Without realizing it, you'll learn pronunciation, sentence structures, grammar, and new vocabulary. Play music in the background while you're cooking, or have a radio station on while you study. Just use one of our endless podcasts available to you. These are easy to listen to in the background while doing other things. Number two, learn through observation. This is how we all learned our native languages as kids. Words will develop their own meanings that relate better to your target language, rather than meanings that are translated directly. Number three, speak out loud to yourself. Even if you're a little embarrassed, it forces you to listen to how you speak. It makes it much easier to spot simple grammar mistakes. Number four, practice daily. If you practice everything for only one day, you won't retain the information you learned. The brain can realistically only focus for about 30 minutes. So studying a little every day allows you to absorb better. Follow these steps and have patience. You'll soon be able to achieve your language learning goals. Just make sure to remember these four methods. Sign up for your free lifetime account, no credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. And start learning more every day. Welcome to Can Do German by GermanPod101.com. Hallo zusammen! Ich heiße Katrin Preußler. Hi everyone, I'm Katrin Preußler. In this lesson, you will learn how to use parting greetings. This is Karen Lee, and she's talking with her former homestay mother, Miriam Mueller. As Karen says goodbye, her children join her in saying goodnight. Focus on the way each person says goodbye. Bis bald! Gute Nacht. Auf Wiedersehen. Bis dann. Once more with the English translation.
Bis bald. See you soon. Gute Nacht. Good night. Auf Wiedersehen. Goodbye. Bis dann. See you. Let's take a closer look at each of these expressions. First, do you remember how Karen says, See you soon. Bis bald. This starts with bis, which means something like until in this context. Bis. Bis. Next is bald. Soon. Bald. Bald. Together. Bis bald. Means something like until soon, but translates as See you soon. Bis bald. Bis bald. Is fairly informal, which indicates a close relationship between Karen and Miriam Mueller, her former homestay mother. Do you remember how Sasha says, Good night? Gute Nacht. Good night. Gute Nacht. Gute Nacht. Literally means good night. Gute Nacht. Gute Nacht. Sasha uses this expression when saying good night to Miriam. You use Gute Nacht. Good night when you don't plan on seeing someone again that night and often when someone is about to go to bed. In this case, it's like saying have a good night's sleep. Do you remember how Ben says goodbye? Auf Wiedersehen. This expression starts with Auf, which means until in this context. Auf. Auf. Next is Wiedersehen. See again. Wiedersehen. Wiedersehen. Together it's Auf Wiedersehen. Literally, until we see each other again. But it translates as goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Is suitable for formal situations. For example, Ben uses this expression since Miriam Mueller is older than him. However, it can also be used between friends and family members. Auf Wiedersehen. Do you remember how Miriam says, See you. Bis dann. See you. Bis dann. First is bis until bis. After this is dann, meaning then. Dann. Dann. Together bis dann. Literally until then, but translates as see you. Bis dann. Bis dann. Is an informal parting greeting, and you should avoid using it in formal situations. Miriam uses this to say goodbye to everyone. She's the most senior person in the conversation, and she uses informal language to sound friendly. Bis. Is in the following expressions. Bis bald. Literally, until soon, but translates as See you soon. And bis dann. Literally, until then. But translates as see you. It also is used in many other parting greetings. Bis morgen. Literally, until tomorrow. But translates as see you tomorrow. Bis morgen. Bis später. Literally, until later. But translates as see you later. Bis später. Bis heute Abend. Literally, until today evening. But translates as, see you tonight. Bis heute Abend. 
you can create many expressions using the following pattern. Bis plus a later point in time, such as tonight, Friday, next week, etc. You should be aware of these commonly used expressions, but you won't need them for this lesson. Let's look at the parting greetings once more. Listen and repeat, or speak along with me. Bis bald! Bis bald! Gute Nacht! Gute Nacht! Bis später! Bis später! Auf Wiedersehen! Auf Wiedersehen! Mach's gut! Mach's gut! Tschüss! Tschüss! Did you notice the last parting greeting I used? Tschüss! Bye! Tschüss. Tschüss. You can use this greeting with your friends and family. It's the most common informal parting greeting in Germany. Tschüss. Remember this expression. You'll need it later. Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say see you soon? Bis bald. Bis bald. And how to say good night? Gute Nacht. Gute Nacht. Do you remember how to say see you? Bis dann. Bis dann. Do you remember how to say goodbye? Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. And how to say bye? Tschüss. Tschüss. Let's practice. Imagine you're Mark Lee and you're talking with Miriam. Respond by saying good night. Ready? Bis dann. Gute Nacht. Listen again and repeat. Gute Nacht. Gute Nacht. Let's try another. Imagine you're Sasha Lee and you're finishing class. Respond by saying bye. Ready? Mach's gut. Tschüss. Listen again and repeat. Tschüss. Tschüss. Let's try one more. Imagine you're Ben Lee, and you're finishing coffee with your college friend, Carla. Respond by saying, see you. Ready? Bis bald. Bis dann. Listen again and repeat. Bis dann. Bis dann. This is the end of this lesson. Remember, these can-do lessons are about learning practical language skills. What's next? 
Show us what you can do. When you're ready, take your assessment. You can take it again and again, so try any time you like. Our teachers will assess it and give you your results. Now you know how to use basic parting greetings in German. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Guten Tag, ist das hier die Anmeldung? Nein, hier ist nicht die Anmeldung. Die Anmeldung ist da links. Ah, danke. Hm. Guten Tag, ist das hier die Anmeldung? Ja, wie heißen Sie? Kate Andrews. Wie buchstabiert man das? Nachname? A, N, D, R, E, W, S. Vorname? K, A, T, E. Now you'll hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. Danke. Thank you. Danke. Danke. Anmeldung. Registration. Application. Anmeldung. Anmeldung. Hier. 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 Nachname. Last name. Nachname. Nachname. Wie. How. Wie. Wie. Vorname. First name. Vorname. Vorname. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. Guten Tag, ist das hier die Anmeldung? Nein, hier ist nicht die Anmeldung. Die Anmeldung ist da links. Ah, danke. Hm. Guten Tag, ist das hier die Anmeldung? Ja, wie heißen Sie? Kate Andrews. Wie buchstabiert man das? Nachname? A, N, D, R, E, W, S. Vorname? K, A, T, E. This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. In this video, you learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in German. Hi everyone, my name is Anja. Welcome to the 800 core German words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in German. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at germanpod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck and finally master German. Okay, let's get started. First is Hund Dog Hund Hund 
dog. Der arme Hund. The poor dog. Der arme Hund. Katze. Cat. Katze. Katze. Cat. Die Katze versteckt sich unter dem Bett. The cat hides under the bed. Die Katze versteckt sich unter dem Bett. Hamster. 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 Hamster schlafen gerne während des Tages. Hamsters like to sleep during the day. Hamster schlafen gerne während des Tages. Warm. 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 Das Wetter ist ziemlich bewölkt, aber warm. The weather is quite cloudy, but warm. Das Wetter ist ziemlich bewölkt, aber warm. Regen. Rain. Regen. Regen. Rain. Der Regen fällt auf die Straße. The rain is falling on the street. Der Regen fällt auf die Straße. Tomate. Tomato. Tomate. Tomate. Tomato. Mein Großvater zieht seine eigenen Tomaten in seinem Garten groß. My grandfather grows tomatoes in his garden. Mein Großvater zieht seine eigenen Tomaten in seinem Garten groß. Erdbeere Strawberry Erdbeere Erdbeere Strawberry Luisa ist gegen Erdbeeren allergisch. Luisa is allergic to strawberries. Luisa ist gegen Erdbeeren allergisch. Kirsche. Cherry. Kirsche. Kirsche. Cherry. Die Kirsche ist eine meiner Lieblingsfrüchte. Cherry is one of my favorite fruits. Die Kirsche ist eine meiner Lieblingsfrüchte. Kind. Child. Kind. Kind. Child. Als ich ein Kind war, bin ich jeden Tag mit dem Fahrrad zur Schule gefahren. When I was a child, I used to ride my bike to school every day. Als ich ein Kind war, bin ich jeden Tag mit dem Fahrrad zur Schule gefahren. 
Freund, Friend, Freund, Freund, Friend. Bis dann, mein lieber Freund. See you then, my dear friend. Bis dann, mein lieber Freund. Erwachsener. Adult. Erwachsener. Erwachsener. Adult. Manchmal macht es überhaupt keinen Spaß, Erwachsener zu sein. Sometimes being an adult just isn't very fun. Manchmal macht es überhaupt keinen Spaß, Erwachsener zu sein. Fahrrad. Bicycle. Fahrrad. Fahrrad. Bicycle. Da steht ein Fahrrad in der Garage. There is a bicycle in the garage. Da steht ein Fahrrad in der Garage. Auto. Car. Auto. Auto. Car. Bitte gib mir die Schlüssel für das Auto. Please give me the keys for the car. Bitte gib mir die Schlüssel für das Auto. Motorrad, Motorcycle, Motorrad, Motorrad, Motorcycle. Er hat ein Motorrad geklaut, das vor dem Schwimmbad abgestellt war. He stole a motorcycle, which had been parked in front of the swimming pool. Er hat ein Motorrad geklaut, das vor dem Schwimmbad abgestellt war. Roller. Scooter. Roller. Roller. Scooter. Der Junge fährt mit seinem Roller ins Umland. The boy drives to the urban hinterland with his scooter. Der Junge fährt mit seinem Roller ins Umland. Boot. Boat. Boot. Boot. Boat. Bananenboot reiten. Banana boat riding. Bananenboot reiten. Qualle. Jellyfish. Qualle. Qualle. Jellyfish. Die Quallen bewegen sich im Wasser auf und ab. The jellyfish are bobbing in the water. Die Quallen bewegen sich im Wasser auf und ab. Hummer. Lobster. Hummer. Hummer. 
Lobster. In einigen Ländern ist Hummer eine besondere Delikatesse. In some countries, lobster is a speciality. In einigen Ländern ist Hummer eine besondere Delikatesse. Krabbe. Crab. Krabbe. Krabbe. Crab. Die zwei Krabben laufen auf einem Felsen. The two crabs are walking on a rock. Die zwei Krabben laufen auf einem Felsen. Schildkröte. Turtle. Schildkröte. Schildkröte. Turtle. Die Meeresschildkröte schwimmt im Meer. The sea turtle is swimming in the sea. Die Meeresschildkröte schwimmt im Meer. Well done! In this lesson you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at germanpod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks and more learning resources. See you next time! Auf Wiedersehen! In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in German. Hi everyone, my name is Anja. Welcome to the 800 core German words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in German. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at germanpod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck and finally master German. Okay, let's get started. First is Banane Banana Banane Banane Banana Die Banane ist gelb. The banana is yellow. Die Banane ist gelb. Apfel Apple Apfel Apfel Apple Ich liebe Apfelkuchen. I love apple cake. Ich liebe Apfelkuchen. Traube. Grape. Traube. Traube. Grape. Das Abendmahl Jesu wird heutzutage mit Traubensaft und Brot zelebriert. Jesus Christ's Last Supper is celebrated with bread and grape juice nowadays. Das Abendmahl Jesu wird heutzutage mit Traubensaft und Brot zelebriert. Wassermelone Watermelon Wassermelone Wasser 
Melone. Watermelon. Die Fledermäuse hängen, eine Wassermelone essend, von einem Ast herunter. The bats are hanging from a branch, eating watermelon. Die Fledermäuse hängen, eine Wassermelone essend, von einem Ast herunter. Vogel Bird Vogel Vogel Bird Anscheinend hat sich ein Vogel in unserer Wohnung verirrt. It seems that a bird lost its way and entered our apartment. Anscheinend hat sich ein Vogel in unserer Wohnung verirrt. Maus 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 Die Maus ist eine Traube. The mouse is eating a grape. Die Maus ist eine Traube. Sonne. Sun. Sonne. Sonne. Sun. Die Sonne erhitzt die heiße Wüste. The sun is heating the hot desert. Die Sonne erhitzt die heiße Wüste. Wetter Weather Wetter Wetter Weather Das Wetter ist heute toll. The weather is great today. Das Wetter ist heute toll. Grad Degree Grad Grad Degree Es ist kaum ein Grad draußen. It is barely one degree outside. Es ist kaum ein Grad draußen. Frau Woman Frau Frau Woman Die Frau genießt eine leckere Pizza. The woman is enjoying delicious pizza. Die Frau genießt eine leckere Pizza. Mann Man Mann Mann Man Am Tresen sitzt ein alter Mann. There is an old man sitting at the counter. Am Tresen sitzt ein alter Mann. Freundin Girlfriend Freundin Freundin Girlfriend Meine Freundin liebt Abendessen bei Kerzenlicht. My girlfriend loves candlelight dinners. 
Meine Freundin liebt Abendessen bei Kerzenlicht. Freund. Boyfriend. Freund. Freund. Boyfriend. Das gehört meinem Freund. It's my boyfriend's. Das gehört meinem Freund. Zug. Train. Zug. Zug. Train. Die Reisende hat auf den Zug gewartet. The traveler waited for the train. Die Reisende hat auf den Zug gewartet. Flugzeug. Airplane. Flugzeug. Flugzeug. Airplane. Die Flugbegleiterin verlässt das Flugzeug. The stewardess is leaving the airplane. Die Flugbegleiterin verlässt das Flugzeug. Bus. 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 Bus, Bus. Der Sitz im Bus war sehr unbequem. The seat on the bus was very uncomfortable. Der Sitz im Bus war sehr unbequem. Taxi, Taxi. 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 Taxis gibt es vor dem Hotel. Taxis are in front of the hotel. Taxis gibt es vor dem Hotel. Spinat. Spinach. Spinat. Spinat. Spinach. Pilz Spinat Strudel. Mushroom and Spinach Strudel. Pilz Spinat Strudel. Delfin. Dolphin, Delfin, Delfin, Dolphin. Der Delfin schwimmt im Ozean. The Dolphin is swimming in the ocean. Der Delfin schwimmt im Ozean. Tintenfisch, Squid, Tintenfisch, Tintenfisch, Squid. Der Tintenfisch schwimmt in der Nähe von einem Korallenriff. The squid is swimming near the coral reef. Der Tintenfisch schwimmt in der Nähe von einem Korallenriff. Well done! In this lesson you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at germanpod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences 
custom flashcard decks and more learning resources. See you next time! Auf Wiedersehen! Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Kate, magst du auch Filme? Ja, ich gehe oft ins Kino. Ah, ich auch. Was für Filme siehst du gerne? Komödien. Super. Und du? Ich? Hm, Action. Das ist auch interessant. Now you'll hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. Kino. Cinema. Kino. Kino. Du. You. Informal. Du. Du. Mögen. To like. Mögen. Mögen. Super. Super. Great. Fantastic. Super. Super. Komödie. Comedy. Komödie. Komödie. Interessant. Interesting. Interessant. Interessant. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. Kate, magst du auch Filme? Ja, ich gehe oft ins Kino. Ah, ich auch. Was für Filme siehst du gerne? Komödien. Super. Und du? Ich? Hm, Action. Das ist auch interessant. This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Jens, aus welcher Stadt kommst du? Göttingen. Und du? Ich komme aus England. Ehrlich? Ja, ehrlich. Ich bin Engländerin. Wo genau in England? Aus der Hauptstadt, London. Das ist ein schöner Ort. Now you'll hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. Aus. From. Out of. Aus. Aus. Sein. To be. Sein. Sein. Engländer. Engländerin. English male, English female. Engländer, Engländerin. 
Engländer, Engländerin. Woher? From where? Woher? Woher? Seit. Since. Seit. Seit. Schön. Beautiful. Schön. Schön. Kommen. To come. Kommen. Kommen. Hauptstadt. Capital city. Hauptstadt. Hauptstadt. Stadt. Town. City. Stadt. Stadt. Ort. Place. City. Location. Ort. Ort. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. Jens, aus welcher Stadt kommst du? Göttingen. Und du? Ich komme aus England. Ehrlich? Ja, ehrlich. Ich bin Engländerin. Wo genau in England? Aus der Hauptstadt, London. Das ist ein schöner Ort. This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free German ebook before it's gone.